There's a murderer in prison. He's covered in tattoos and strong muscles. He just walked into the cage. His cell would throw him a kiss. The guy in the bunk took a look at him. They wanted to give Jensen a welcome. The guard heard the noise and left. The two men turned around and went back to see what all the fuss was about. They watched the cellmate lying on the floor. Jensen told the guards he was asleep on the floor. This is a prison for felons. Everyone here has blood on their hands. In the morning Jensen came into the dining hall for breakfast. A man walks across to him. The two men next to him gave him a seat. Looks like he's trying to get the new guy a head start. He stood up and spat on Jensen's breakfast. Jensen held back. He's new here and doesn't want any trouble. At that moment, a strong man came up behind him. He said Jensen was the wife's killer. There must be something wrong with you. This two words made Jensen angry because his wife was killed by a masked man. He woke up with a steel knife in his hand. His beloved was dead and framed for prison. He picks up the steel plate and turns around and hits him. The iron plate hits him directly. The man sneaks up behind Jensen and attacks him. Jensen was knocked to the ground by him. At this point, the guards come over with guns and control the chaos. The guards told Jensen that you were in trouble. He was taken to the warden's office and she came to Jensen for a reason. Jensen is a former champion race car driver. This prison hosts a death race every week. They bring in a lot of money to the prison through live streaming. The last masked man had won for races, but he died of serious injuries after the fifth race. The popularity of the masked man is unmatched. She wants Jensen to put on a mask to pretend to be the masked man to continue the race. As soon as Jensen won the match, she will release Jensen immediately. Jensen agreed to go out and find out who killed his wife. These three men are his teammates. The team coach is telling Jensen the rules of the race. The race is divided into three races. The goal of the first races is to kill the opponent. Only the third race is about speed. Whoever reaches the finish line first wins. At this moment, a group of people came over. Joe gave the masked man some tough words. He will let the masked man die this time. But he did not know that the masked man had been replaced. Then a car brought in three prisoners. Jensen noticed that they were wearing location bracelets. Because the day his wife was murdered, the masked man was wearing the same bracelet. He felt that his wife's death must be related to the masked man, but he didn't have time to think about it. The game had already started. A group of female prisoners got out of the car. They were partners for the race, and Case got into Jensen's car. As soon as Jensen spoke, Case could tell he wasn't the masked man. The warden was watching the racetrack. She chose beautiful women with a good face and body to be her partner, in order to increase the number of people watching live. Nine cars are about to start the race. At that moment, the green light came on. All the cars instantly flew out. The whole field was filled with the sound of burning tires and the sound of some cars crashing. Jensen, with his experience as a champion racer, quickly rose to the top. But this race is not about speed. It was about destroying the other team. Joe knocked Jensen off the main track. The warden changed the rules mid-race. She activated the sword and shield on the ground. When the car hit the sword, it triggered the weapon. Shields represent defensive equipment. The skeleton represents a wall of spikes. Joe's car hit the sword weapon. He has a gillian in his car, so he can destroy his opponent with many bullets. One car hit the skull manhole cover, and some big shovel spikes appeared. He crashed directly into it with a loud bang and an explosion. The first eliminator appeared. Meanwhile, people were triggering props and equipment. Gatling continued to strafe. Car stepped on shields to release peanut butter. Some people released shield spikes. The nail directly pierced the car tires. The car rolled over and flew several hundred meters before it hit the ground. A shell came from behind it. The second eliminator appeared. The number of viewers has reached 46 million. And Jensen finally hits the shield. A small steel plate appears behind his car. The car behind him keeps firing at him. The small steel plate was blown to hell. At this point, the incendiary device could not be ejected. He sattered a case on his lap. He uses the co-pilot to eject the incendiary device and takes off. The incendiary landed right on the car in the back. Case grabbed the cigarette lighter from the car and threw it directly at the car in the back. The car was instantly set on fire. The car behind him crashed directly and flipped over. At that moment, the driver next to him made a gesture to him. Jensen was stunned because the day his wife was murdered, the killer also made this gesture. It turned out that his wife's murderer was someone from the prison. It was all arranged by the female warden. Jensen didn't want to continue the next game after knowing the truth, but the warden took out the photo of his daughter. Jensen could only bow down and obey the warden's arrangement. The second game started, but Jensen kept pulling the brakes on the back. He questioned Case about why yesterday's weapon device was stuck. 
turns out she made a deal with the Warness. As long as she destroys the weapon device, the Warden would release her from prison. Case's honesty rubs off on Jensen. Jensen stepped on the gas and accelerated up. He's going to run over the man who gestured at him yesterday. He pulls on the handbrake. The car drifted and started the gatling. The two cars shoot at each other. Jensen repositions the car and releases the smoke. The rear car's view is blocked. He crashes into a concrete pillar next to him. Jensen gets out of the car. He squeezes the man's neck and spins him around. His head turns to the surveillance. His eyes are full of murder. The female warden sees Jensen defying the odds. She sends an armored battleship. A locomotive sped out. The battleship officially joins the fray. The guns on the roof of car kept firing. The track became an instant battlefield. His rocket launcher hit a car with every shot. Soon there were only two cars left on the track. They were Jensen's and Joe's vehicles. Both of them rushed up to the front and blocked the view of the battleship. They triggered the skeleton prop and turned the steering wheel to make a U-turn. The battleship hit the steel spike directly. The battleship became scrap metal. The warden was furious when he saw it. All the prisoners in the prison were cheering, and the warden wanted to kill Jensen in the last game. She asked her men to plant a bomb under the car. The real death race begins. Jensen's car speed went up to 180. Jensen pressed into the ground shield prop, but the weapon device in his car did not respond. This is all the warden's doing. At this time, the car behind him kept strafing. The steel plate on the back of his car was directly removed. By now the rocket launcher was ready. The rocket launcher came flying out. Jensen dodged sideways. The prison wall was hit by a big hole. When the smoke cleared, the prison warden was confused. The two contestants had escaped from prison. The female warden was furious. She rushed to turn off the live broadcast and crashed the remote control to trigger the bomb, but the bomb had already been defused. The two smiled as they escaped from the prison. Soon a large number of police cars caught up with them. They parted ways to distract the enemy, but there were helicopters coming after them. Case was staying behind. After all, the warden had promised to release her from prison, and Jensen jumped right out of the car. Shortly after, Case is intercepted. Case climbed on top of the car with a mask, and the warden receives a gift. She slowly unwraps it. The box contains a bomb. Three months later, Jensen and Joe opened a repair shop. That's when a sports car stops, and out of the car comes Case. The three of them live happily ever after. You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.